everyone. Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to make a seashell wind chime. So what you'll need is some good quality fishing line. Um, this isn't good quality, but it'll work for today. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors to cut the fishing line. You're going to need some seashells. Okay. Um, I've added some buttons that I'm going to use with mine, give it a nice clank sound. And I went out and scoured around and found a limb that I can tie it all to. Um, so we're going to use that today as well. So let me just pick up these buttons. First thing I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to get, grab my seashells. And you'll see I've already drilled holes in these. Okay, very tiny holes just for your fishing line to go through. Okay, so yours will be all pre-drilled people at Sensity who are doing this activity. But if you're doing it on your own, you'll want to use a very small drill bit and drill through them. Um, be very careful that it doesn't shatter, okay, because that can be a risk. So um, I've got seashells. I've also got my buttons. Um, I'm going to pick out probably, oh, four or five seashells per line that I want to make on my um, wind chime. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut four strips of fishing line that's about as far as I can reach wide. Okay, so there's one. I'm just going to slice that off. We've got one. Do this again. Okay. Two, you'll want to make sure that they're almost equal lengths. Um, so if you don't get them all equal lengths, maybe cut them to equal lengths. Um, that'll just make the wind chime uh, a lot easier to build going forward. So I've got three lengths and I need one more. Okay, we're up to four. Perfect. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tree branch here that I got and I'm going to pick four spots to just tie my fishing line to. So um, you can do it wherever, obviously, but for me, I'm just going to quickly tie some knots in my fishing line so that it hangs um, at almost the same length. So just tie that off and put a knot in it. Okay, you'll wanna make sure that it doesn't slide, so make sure you tie those knots nice and tight. I've used a very simple knot, but you may choose to do something else. Um, but basically you'll want it, and you'll see this dangle down just like so. Okay, so I'm gonna finish tying those off, all four of them, and I'll show you what it looks like after the break. All right, folks, so we've got our four lines tied onto my stick. One, two, three, four. Okay, next thing I'm gonna wanna do is pick out my shells that I want to attach to each line. So, uh, obviously mine are fairly long. I can snip those off. It's always better to have more than less to begin with because you can trim these. So, um, if I want my wind chime to be, say, yay long, okay, that's probably a good length, maybe arm's length. Okay, um, I'm just going to chop off those at the bottom. That way they're all a consistent length as well. I'm just going to get rid of that excess. Fishing line's pretty cheap. Okay, and now I can start tying my seashells on. So um, when you thread your seashells, what you're going to want to do is make sure you come from the top down. Okay, on the seashell, that'll just let it hang a lot better and they'll hang down instead of up. Um, slide them down and then you can secure them with a knot so that they don't slide. Um, and then you're just going to keep threading on your seashells. Maybe put your buttons in between. It's up to you. Be creative. Um, we'll see how you do. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'll show you what my wind chime looks like after I tie everything onto it. All right, folks, we finished tying on all of our seashells and buttons, and we are finished. So final project. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so you can hear the clanking. Hopefully you'll get that wind. Hopefully you can hear that. 
Anyway, so kind of a neat project, fun little craft um, as part of Sound Week. And stay tuned for more exciting sound activities coming your way.